I'm upside down and no words to, to tell us, you know. But what it's saying, we that are Christians, we know when we read the word, we know what God can do. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe we're going to go to the sixth chapter of Isaiah right now. Hallelujah. He's talking about Isaiah. Praise God. Sixth chapter. I'll tell you what, I just got these sitting right over where I want to go. That scripture I had been on my mind for a while, brother. Brother Oscar, for some reason. Hallelujah. Sixth chapter of Isaiah, verse 1. Isaiah, the call to be a prophet. I was known then as what? The major prophet. Because they books you want to say they read, I guess you want to say, I praise God. But it says in Isaiah, the sixth chapter, and I got. Excuse me, sometimes I guess I studied on the, the age. I got up here, I believe it is about 25 years old. So he was a young man. He got a whole lot to learn. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. But he goes down this way. The first verse, it says, In the year that the king Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord standing up on the throne, high and lifted up. His train filled the temple, praise God. And what I read that, that his train to fill the temple, that's what I want to speak on a little bit about. But look at what he said, I see the Lord high and lifted up, praise God. Yes. He can see my prayer. With my eyes, that's what I could say. He can see something the spirit you want to say. Hallelujah. He said he fire lifted up his train filled the, the temple. You know what? I'm not talking about the train that all the, the bride you want to say, you know. So I'm talking about I'll tell you what he's talking about. This train is, I believe he's talking about the glory of God. Yeah, Hallelujah. That's yeah. what he's talking about. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you touch a human is on it. No wonder she didn't stay home because she yeah. touched the train. Hallelujah. Yeah. She touched the glory of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because Jesus was Jehovah and made you where God with us. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's the reason. She was set free of the sickness. I right. believe she was set free from right. what the devil was put on her. I believe I've been mean, several years, but then I like her. She's been money, but right, and she's about to just touch the hip of the garment. And I believe I, that touched the hip of the garment tonight. I, I believe each one of us has touched the hem of the garment, praise God. Yeah. And the glory of the Lord, hallelujah, shall fill your spirit, your soul, and body, and mind. Can you say, man? Hallelujah. And I thank you for that. He talked about me. It goes on down, I'm going to skip a bunch of them. It goes on down. The 8th verse. 6 and 8. He said also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send? Who will go for us? Then said I, I this, said, in other words, he just said I, here am I, send me. Here I am. Yeah. I did so I'll go. Yeah. I didn't see a whole lot. Yeah. You didn't a whole lot. You didn't put those tongues on the fire and dump them. But I was, man, I'm trading with Man, you done got me ready. You got me prepared. And I am like 25 years old. That age is right. You did a question mark. But what I'm saying, he just said, my, I'm ready to go. He said, I can feel God. I can feel that on it. Hallelujah. When you start feeling that, you get like day. They said, hey, I believe I can run through a truth and jump over the wall, praise yeah, God. And yeah. sometimes it's pretty God. And when, brother, the, the, each Christian doctor tells you this, and it, you know, I, I told I told somebody that I just going to church. I said, you know, I used to come in from work. He told me I was on day shift. I come in, I'll be tired at church at night. I told my wife, she'd be ready to grab something big to get ready to go to church. Time is late. Hallelujah. I come back home and sleep like a baby. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sleep like a baby. Hallelujah. You said, what caught me? That's still knowing the Spirit of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't do these trials and test of what does it do for you? It sleeps you. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to ask you to turn to Ephesians 3.16. Hallelujah. I got that mark on me. This is the part I used this morning in my sermon. At the church. I believe it's in 3.16. So we're going to start at the 14th verse. Vision 3.14. We use this scripture also. Paul writes to the vision. He says, For this cause, I bow my knees unto our Father, and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Paul talks about the 15 verse of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Hallelujah. He said, Lord, Father, give me what? Heaven and earth. Mm-hmm. Now he just saying it. Hey, Paul saying it. But I recognize this. Uh, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Number 16 now. Oh, this is what I like. That he would grant them to you. Point your finger at yourself. He granted it to me, isn't he? Hallelujah. Okay. According to his riches of his glory. His glory, hallelujah, to his glory. His glory, hallelujah. As the Bible said in Psalm, the cattle of the mountain, he was born to him. Hallelujah. And he and all the fullness of the hurt belongs to him. Praise God. He's made it all. Hallelujah. He's provided all for what you want to say. I know the Lewis will come down and got Trump problem. He's fighting against the saints. And the warfare is speaks of revelation. And he is warned against the saints. Praise God. He wants to go out of but praise God. But we got the strength. We got to endure. Endure to the end. The things that they say that said over in Matthew and another place there too. But we got to endure it on the troubles. Trials, tests, sorrows, heartaches, and things that come our way, praise God. But he said, My grace is sufficient, Paul said. Yeah. Come on, hallelujah. Yeah. Paul said, When I'm the weakest, he said, I told him stronger, so yeah. hallelujah. But don't worry what he said. When you feel bad and you're down too much, uh, and you're trying to depend on God, that's when your faith is strong, in other words. Uh, and faith, the one place it talks about, uh, faith is trying more precious than gold, hallelujah. It's far more precious than gold, hallelujah. But he come on my shot the last second. Yeah, he's going to walk the things out of water. Hey, when you're not talking to me, he ain't to have ears. I do have ears. And I can hear and I know all things, said the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, that's what I want to see where I'm at now. The rich of his glory. Now, listen to this. To be strengthened with fight by his spirit in the what? The inner man. man. I got news. That man told about the man and woman. I had to put that in. I said this one in church. You you can read the Bible, it talks about here. He's talking about the man and woman here. Well, he said, man, he said, why use man? Because I tell the church one time, who did he make first? He made man. But the Bible said, Jesus, God made man, Jesus, made man and woman. The woman was made. Hallelujah. He's talking about him. So when it don't sit you, you're not left out in the word of God. And the Lord, he talked about you and he talked about the man. Praise God. And then you know why? When he talks about that, he talks about how great he is. How powerful he is. What can he do? It's nothing the scripture says in the neutral one place. It's nothing impossible with God. Gabriel said that to Mary. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, hey, Mary, you're going to be all shattered by the Holy Ghost. You're going to see a son. In other words, you're going to have a son. Hallelujah. And the maker, the, the father, going to be God. Hallelujah. And the prayer of God. Hallelujah. Can't you imagine that cloud? That spirit come over Mary. Hallelujah. And you know, I think she shouted. Huh? She said, oh, now there's something called blessed. Huh? She is the blessed mother of our Savior. Don't get us strong. Huh? But she said, my soul, magnify my God. Hallelujah. And magnify, hallelujah. But now he said, uh, you're strength and then person by his spirit. So we're going to magnify God. That's that spirit that's from well down here. So we're not involved in that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Live glory. Hallelujah. And he said this. Oh, number 17 verse. I don't think I read that this morning, church. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by what? By faith. By faith. Yeah. By faith. By faith. I believe it's in Romans, the 10th chapter. I remember exactly what verse. Faith comes by what? Hearing? Hearing. Hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. That's how I get it from the beginning. the scriptures. How we all do that when we get in the book, you want to say, and this is what I like to remind people. People say, well, it's just a book. I said, yeah. I don't think so for that yet. I don't believe it. But you know what Jesus said in Matthew 24, I believe 24, 35. He said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my words yeah. shall not pass. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. 
and he gives his words to his people and to the prophets and foretold yeah. and say, hey, this said, the oh Lord, hallelujah, and what it happened, it's thus said the Lord. No yeah. wonder I got that script because he knew yeah. what was going to happen. He knew that y'all need this. He knew that they were coming through like a flood. He could put it up a standard end. In other words, hallelujah. And I believe it, praise God. He'll take care of his own thing to say, Amen. Hallelujah. For some reason, I, I don't let this one for a little bit. Go back. Acts, I believe it's a, I believe it's a nine chapter I want to go to. Hallelujah. I'll get back this one. Hallelujah. Well, it's going to have to turn some off the page again for some reason. Okay, it's a nine chapter last. Hallelujah. In this book, in the book of Acts, in that chapter, we're talking about when Paul was Saul. Yeah. Hallelujah. The first verse talks about Acts 9 1. The Saul, yet brave and out threatened the slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest. Saul here had changed it. He was still Saul. In other words, he's still kind of against the church, persecuting the church. He went to the high priest here. Number two, he desires of him letters to Damascus and to the synagogue. That if any be found, any if 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 he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, okay, men and women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. In other words, I'm going down here and you're preaching this, and I'm going to take you with me. Yeah. And back in those days, the high priest had some authority, as you want to say. Oh boy. They had some authority, yeah. praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, when you read two books, actually, you found out what Paul, or yeah, Paul had said to some high priest and stuff, you know. Hallelujah. I believe one time a series smacked him and said, hey, speak to the high priest. Answer him, in other words, or into the, as we said, and stand in front of pray God. Go on with me here. Number three verse. He said, then as he journeyed, he came near to the master. Suddenly, there shined around about him a light from heaven. Hallelujah. A light from heaven, the power of God. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. It talks about one place we were sitting in darkness. Did you say amen? Yeah. So the light comes to the Gentiles. Yeah. And we're dragged in. Praise yeah. God. We're dragged in by the light of all the trees. It talks yeah. about that. Praise God. Oh, Jesus dragged us in. You know why? Back there in the biblical days, Levi was a priesthood. Now Jesus comes through the tribe of Judah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. A lot of tribes you will see. Praise God. I don't know if Moses ever recognized that. And, but we are in the line. We come through the line of the tribe of Judah. Can you say amen? Praise yeah. God. And number four. And he fell to the ground. Paul, I say he had soldiers with him. Yeah. What about them soldiers done? I mean, they got shook up. Look at here. We're supposed to be here protecting him. We got letters. We're supposed to get them and bring them back. Look at here, he just fell to the ground. And I and heard a voice saying to him, Saw, saw, why persecute thou me? Yeah. Saw, saw, why you persecute thou me? I played those devices, people were on, my, on their knees. I know when the house was there, wasn't he? Hallelujah, because he had to go to Saul, you want to say. Praise God, he didn't want to go either. He said, no, oh, Lord, God, what about this guy? I don't want to go down there. He said, go. He said, this man is going to be my disciples. He really wants the apostles. Yeah. Born out of this, he knows what he's he trying to tell us uh, 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 and us. He said, go. Praise God. But this is what I'm going to say. Number fifth verse, and he said, who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, now listen to this. He said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutes. Jesus is in heaven. He was persecuting his people. Hey, hey, devil, I'll put you on charge right now. When you persecute God's people, you're persecuting Jesus. That's right. You got to kick out of heaven. I know that, that Jesus said, you're the prince of this world. I know that. Praise God. I'm going to tell you something else. But touch not my anointing and do my promise no harm. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't touch my people. So why? Woe be unto you, praise God. I tell I remind the devil a lot of time, Brother John. I said, get your suitcase ready, boy. You're going to hell. You're going to burn. You're going to burn in the name of Jesus. Tell him I said, praise God. Hallelujah. I, I don't want to share a story. But you said you think I ain't. 
We were going to the Church of God across the board. You remember that hill? The Brother Andy's. The young minister there right there. I don't know if you got to preach a while back there. Church was over with. There was a woman up there. For some reason, he got praying for her. The pastor done went out, done went home, or done went somewhere, I don't know, the congregation left. The young minister was there. I said, I'm going to stay here with this young minister. <coughs> and guess what was going on? What we're doing tonight. Mm-hmm. And you know, that young minister, he went back in now. And I'm talking to that. And it was and it was and it wasn't the easiest thing either. It wasn't the easiest night. It ain't. But Peter tried to get in with him. Peter tried to get on him. I said, You ain't gonna do this to me, devil. I'm gonna stand in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I got a young minister right here. He waited. And he and God used him to get going. And she was laying out on the floor there. And Sister Wanda, we kept praying, we kept praying. He tried to choke me and want to save him, but it didn't work. We kept praying, we kept praying. Although once she raised that hand up and tried to grab hold of something. But the other young minister, I was calling up the spirit room here and said, the other minister, she's standing there. He said, I feel this church shake. That's what kind of power they couldn't do there at night. That's right. And that young lady told us that if somebody comes in here with a white horse, <laughs> we can't just take the glory, hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. The Lord, hallelujah. Is that right? Oh, the person can deliver her right Amen. <laughs> Amen. She got it. She went along, I guess. But see, we learn in these three trials. We learn it's this way. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you, God loves her as much as he loves me. I believe that. God loves you for as much as he loves me. You have to walk through some things. I don't know the reason why. But it shows the grace and the mercy of God and compassion what he got on his people. Hallelujah. Because he can be a witness for him. Can you say that? He's always a witness. But for whatever he wants to try and press the test for some reason. Hallelujah. Why do we strengthen that man? When he strengthens the inner man, he strengthens something inside of you that's not going to die. It's a soul inside that's going to live somewhere there after. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're playing the song. He said, You are God. God is an eternal, you say. In our soul, we're spirit, the eternal somewhere. It's going to rain somewhere. Can you say, Man? And I want to rain from heaven. Hallelujah. I want to walk on the street. I want to see Peter and John and William Moore. Can you say, Man? And see that blood. See that blood. You will see the nail scar hand. Hallelujah. Oh, and Thomas put his hand in his hand. Maybe I put my hand. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Walked it up to me. It talks about one place there. He said, How you rock God ties it off. He goes down the next place. I believe it starts out that way. Chapter, but he said, Hey, he said, In other words, you're being good to God under the angle state, but he said, I'll open the windows of heaven. There you go. Hallelujah. There you go. For some reason, I believe I'm going to get to see the windows of heaven over the night. It didn't open like that thought was going to open up, but it opened God's way. Can you say, man? Amen. Hallelujah. And He touched it. And you see some things tonight, but what God has done, then you'll go away this weekend and you'll look up your eyes and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for what you did for my brother. Thank you for what you did for my sister. Thank you for what you did for church service. I give you the praise and glory, and I'll give you praise. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Glory. Thank you. And I know, brother, I sure know that I don't want to go like this. God has put me down here to help you for some reason. I yeah. thought I'm here just for him. Hallelujah. And preach when he don't feel like it. He wants to preach. I'll be glad to listen to him. Hallelujah. I have listened to him. 
I just come out here and just worship y'all. And God is spirit of truth. And the Bible says, and Jesus said, I believe in one place in Gospel of John, about the fourth chapter. He said, I seek them to worship me as spirit of truth. Right. He seeks the people. Yes. Oh, people, yes. worship me as spirit of truth. Because why? You can feel my power. You can feel my spirit. Yes. And you know that you're a child of God. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't know the reason I won't say this. When I was in backslid condition, working mind, my wife prayed to be the prayer for me. When I got back to the Lord, he got it. She didn't worry to be that easy. <laughs> she prayed for me, she prayed for me. And I'm going to tell you, she was raised Catholic. Hallelujah. But she was talking about to pray with me. And she started praying. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's a place I shouldn't be. Put the old stuff down. I looked to that door. Now, this is somebody here. I don't know who you are. Hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about. I looked to that door. And God was dealing with me all the time. Because well, I've been born again. But I've been back to that I've been yeah. bad shape. You know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. I don't know if you just confess this. I just started here really confessing that this happened back in the last century. Praise God in my younger days. What I'm saying, I looked toward that door. And then lady, when I looked toward that door, it came to my mind. What would you do if Jesus took through that door now? Oh, Lord, I bust tail right open. That's where I'm headed. I, I'm headed to destruction. Oh, it's a little word. And they feel like believe that sixth chapter that talks about why. It's a way that leads to destruction. There is a way that leads to life. In other words, there is the gate. Broad is the gate. It talks about the broad way is going to lead to destruction. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I don't mean like one of the five words is going to push. The all was going to have. Hallelujah. The all was going to have. Hallelujah. That's a foolish word that you want to say. Who fell out, but I want them in the lives of them. And put him on. And put him in the spirit of God. And the Lord here has to me more. I told them, I don't know if you heard me while I was talking. We had told them five this morning, like, talking to Brother Ed back there. My wife was there. Thank God for my wife was there. She didn't have to work today. She was up today. She was there. Then another husband and wife was there. Then our grandson was there. He called us and we were getting ready to start opening up the prayer, start the service, just to wind up. And it was on me. Let's all get up here and take old hands. And I'm going to tell you what. We started praying. But one time there, the power of God hit us. It hit me. I didn't know what was going to happen. I'll be honest. I mean, it just got me and I started rocking back from Mars. Hallelujah. And then tighten up. All I had tight say, Oh, God. I, you know, I can feel it. Praise God. Uh, my neighbor was there. He, he lived down there. He was there. His wife was there. Hallelujah. I and mean, then she said she got a little woozy in the spare time. And some more got woozy in the spare time. We all. And my grandson was there. I looked at him. Do you feel that? I said, Yeah, I do. You feel it? Sitting down there. Look like shaking his eyes. His eyes have got red. I said, Spirit of God. I said, Do you know? He's been sitting in that church. This happened to him. He came to church and worked at Walmart. He went to get down late. He said, there, somehow he heard the lake going to get up. I remember right. He was sitting there to go to work that afternoon. I think he had a, a what you call one of those uh, brace on him, slip on your knee. Had one of them on, I remember right. He went to work. He went to Walmart. His wife back there said, Coach Lakewood heard me. He said, I looked and he was looking for himself at Lakewood. We didn't pray for him. The Spirit of God did. And I'm going to let you kill the Father God for you. Yeah. Did you say, man? Amen. Amen. I believe in God. Amen. Lay that hand on him. Hallelujah. The hand of God. Oh, he don't have to be a preacher. He don't have to be a minister. Right. But it has to be the Spirit of God. When he came out of that tongue. When he laid that mind behind on him, right? on the hair of her with his, even the child of his, praise God, something's going to happen, can you say, man? Hallelujah. Well, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister, what you've been going through with, you have felt the mighty hand of God in that hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you for that. Amen. Yeah, Hallelujah. He can look around. He knows. 
Para mostrar o que Deus ia. Quando o Lord started using the devil of spiritual gifts, I kissed the Christian. You know how it worked? I like to tell you. I probably told you that. It's like a bag. It just walks around on my bag. And the spirit, hey, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Hey, get with me. I know it's something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We're working in the spirit. Hallelujah. It's the spirit. Because why? Look like I had that Lord, I'll go. I go with you that they're fishing yeah. your head boys, you know. He said, yeah. I'll go a fishing going away with it. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. See that they're fishing. Catching that fish and make that money. I heard you talking about that. Hallelujah. Because the Almighty who was feeding things. And he's the one that owns the cow on the fountain of the hill. He's the one that owns the full of the herd. He's the one that right. put us down here. He's the one that's gonna bring us to the truth. Did you say, man? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe it's in Gospel of John 16, 33. He did in this world. I believe it goes up like this. You shall have tribulations. But he said, be of good cheer. He said, and he told me, you might have peace. But it's be of good cheer. He said, I will overcome the world. Yeah. He said, write it down. There you go. Oh, boy, I know that he told me about one place in the Gospels. He said, I'm going to lay it down, my life down. He said, I've got the power to lay it down. I got the power to pick it up. Hallelujah. Well, that's who we're serving tonight. Hallelujah. We're not serving a wish for wish to God. We're not serving a woman that's jealous of hatred. We're serving a woman that's love. And be able to receive. Can you say, man? They are ones that, hey, I don't want any imperishable. Hallelujah. That's why I want the Calvary prayer. Praise God. And that's what we do. And He made us a witness. And they put some pillars here in this church and say, hey, I want to do this, I want to do that. But may they want to be here praising God. I want to be on my knees, praise God, and praying for the Lord. Praying yeah. for my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, I can feel it might have on me right now. But also what I think about I believe in Revelation. We talked about the devil coming in like a flood. The Spirit will put a devil in the Revelation there. I believe about 12 chapters talks about when Lucifer was going to persecute the church. Yeah. He's going to persecute the saints. But it talks about the earth opened his mouth. Gave strength to him, in other words. What God gave you, you'll get to keep it. Hallelujah. God didn't give it, you won't get to keep it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then he says, why? He opened his mouth and went up. And he'll send out a mouth and out of the mouth and come water, I believe it says. And he'll flood after the saints, praise God. And then he said, he'll take them to a wilderness, praise God. We'll go to the Holy Ghost wilderness, you want to say, hallelujah. We'll be high there for time and times and time. I know we're talking about the end, but I'm going to tell you what, we're living in the end time, praise God. Amen. I'm not saying this is the time that we're living now. I mean, the court of chapter of Revelation 12, but what you're saying, we're living in time. That the flood is coming out of his mouth. Yeah. We can yeah. be living in that time, but we don't know that mouth would be good. But what I'm saying, but he said, you're going to tie the time, praise God. Hallelujah. Because why? Wow, I'm going to protect my home. He told Saul, if you persecute me, when you persecute my people. Yeah. That's going to stop them. Yeah. I'm going to give them power. I'm going to give them strength. They come to me, they're going to believe in me. Hallelujah. And what I do, I'm going to give them strength. And they go home at night, they'll sleep good, talk about Jesus. They get up the next morning and make you a little tired for a time to say, Hey Lord, I thank you for this day. Like I said many times, a wife in the mornings was I'll quote that scripture. I believe I, I believe I can quote it. Hallelujah. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will we rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 18, 24. We say it every morning over oh, hell. Praise God. Because he made it, he made it for me. He made it for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to stand right now, if you will. You know, I can feel somebody getting a tug by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody getting a tug by the Spirit of the Lord. I don't know who you are, but He does. Hallelujah. You're getting a tug from the Spirit of the Lord. He's touching you in a special way. I don't know who you are. But God knows. But don't go disobey. Hallelujah. Says you can get a song going and be fine with me. Hallelujah. I usually don't do this. 
But I feel the tug. You know what tug? I feel the tug in the spirit. Hallelujah. God is building somebody here. You so well. He said, I'm a Christian. But if God has given us you to come to this altar, you come to it. You say, why? You might feel that all my hand on you. Yeah. I said, I don't know. So well, I'm done stepping out. No pain is what God wants to do.
people, we just think about our spirit and our soul. You know, Jesus said, He comes to save our souls. You know, a lot of people don't understand what our soul is. Now listen to me and listen close. Our soul is the five senses of our body. You say, to what? If you go to heaven, you're going to be able to hear the angels sing. You're going to be able to see what heaven's like. You're going to be able to feel what heaven's going to feel like. The five senses of our body. If we go to heaven, we're going to enjoy heaven through the senses of our body. And we're going to have a new body. I'm going to be able to taste the fruit of the tree that flows, that flows on each side of the river that flows out of the throne of God. I'm going to be able to do that if I go to heaven. But you were born at that time. God gave you that. If you don't go to heaven, listen to me close. If you don't go to heaven, you're going to feel what hell is like. You're going to see the demons that are coming, tearing your body, and try to pull you down. You're going to hear the screams in hell of people crying out. My God, and He won't be there. Hallelujah. You're going to have a sense that is in your body, Brother Jay. It's going to be in hell with you. You're going to taste the smoke of hell. You're going to taste it. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to hear it. My friend, let me tell you something tonight. If everything is not right between you and the Lord, there's not a better time on this earth or in this whole universe for you to make things right with God than right now. Hallelujah. You know, I've been, I've been a, a believer in Christ. I want to make myself clear. I'm saying I've been a believer in Christ for a long time. And if I wasn't a believer in Him tonight, I'd say, God, I need you to open my mind. I need you to open my mind. Hallelujah. Listen, people, this thing, I want to tell you this, and I, I'm not telling you to try to scare you, but I want to tell you, and this is facts, okay? This thing that we know that we live in every day is about over. It's about over. You know, I've said this so many times. It may be 10 years before the Lord comes back. It may be 10 years before the Lord comes back. And I, you know, as far as getting my rest of my family and everything in that I can get in, I hope it's 10 years. I hope it's 10 years. But the trumpet of the Lord is just in the next 15 minutes. See? He said, we didn't know who this was going to be. We don't know, Brother Fred, whatever God's going to say. That's enough. I want to bring my children home. Hallelujah. I want to bring them home. It could be in the next 15 minutes. It could 
to be in the next five minutes. Bible says it could be in the moment, in the quickness of an hour. You could stand, be standing here right now, and in the quickness of an hour, be standing in the presence of the Almighty God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be standing in the presence of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Don't you love the Lord tonight? Amen. Aren't you glad? Amen. Aren't you glad that that blood was shed Amen. for Amen. us? Amen. Aren't you Amen. glad that God done the things for us that He done? Amen. My goodness, I was preaching. I was talking this morning. Uh, maybe I think I was talking this morning. It might be another morning. I, the night. <laughs> I don't remember. Sometimes my mind kind of gets a little, little flurry. We're living in a time. Like we've never seen before. Amen. We're living in a time like we've never seen before. And it's not going to, and I don't mean to, to bust your bubble, but it's not going to get no better. Right. You say, oh yeah, but, but we're going to have a new president. Everything's going to change. That's not going to change a thing. That's right. The only thing that's going to change is whenever Jesus said, that's enough. I'm going to bring my people home. Amen. That's when the big change is going to take place. Amen. And you know what? The Bible tells me, he said, he's coming back after those that have made them separate. That have made them separate. Now we've got to do something. It's not, it's not left up to the Lord to do it all. We've got to do something. We've got to make our separate. And that's us. That's the way that be individually. Us. That we have to make our separate to be ready to meet the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't you love him tonight? Amen. God is a good God. Amen. God is a good God. And I believe that he will hear us when we call on him. I really believe that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I, I, for the priest, I appreciate you coming tonight. Amen. Very much so. Very much so. Hallelujah. Y'all remember me in prayer tomorrow? I've got to go back to the hospital. And uh, got to go have a treat. Got to go back to that. Whatever it is they do to me. Anymore, I just go in there and lay down and say, whatever. <laughs> Wake me when it's over. <laughs> and whatever happened, <laughs> happened. Right. But uh, y'all keep praying. You know, I know God heals. And God can heal instantly. That's right. That's right. I know that. Amen. But I also believe that God can use the wisdom of man. For our healing. I believe that. I believe that. I believe God has given doctors the knowledge and the understanding and the wisdom to help people to be healed. I believe that with all my heart. I mean, I mean, I know without a doubt I wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for the for the knowledge that God gave the doctors and they get and what they done. For me to get to, for me to be standing behind this pulpit tonight. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. I give God the glory for that. I give God the glory for that. Whenever I see a healing, and I know that healing has been done, I give God the glory for it. How it comes, that's up the class between God and that healing. Hallelujah. We know God can heal. We know God can heal. All right. If everybody's mind's clear tonight, I've enjoyed the service. I've enjoyed I felt the Spirit of God. And whenever I can feel the Spirit of the Lord, then I know that God is moving. Hallelujah. All right. And then uh, we're fixing this.